Hello everyone. In this video, you'll learn how to use AWS S3 simple operations through the CLI to create a temporary link to download the S3 object. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank for watching and let's get started. Prerequisite. You have an AWS account and already know how to log into web console. You also have downloaded AWS command line interface tool, CLI tool, and can run with the AWS command. You have created and downloaded an IAM and set up as a credential under aws.aws slash credential. So it's really simple to create a temporary downloadable URL with the pre-sign. The term keyword here is pre-sign. The command is like this, aws s3 pre-sign and what are the paths for the S3 bucket to the object. And then this is important. You need to ex specify when, the, how long does it take to expire. So expires in and time in seconds. So let's try to do that. Here's my S3 bucket. And then as you can see, there is a bucket name and there's just one object. We'll try to create a temporary link to download this object. So here's my CLI terminal. I'm going to type AWS S3 LS to see the, my bucket name. And this, I just have one bucket. To list the content, I'll do AWS S3 LS and S3 slash slash bucket name. And then the, and then LS to see the uh, object there. I just see one file there. Next, we'll type AWS S3 pre-sign s3 slash column slash slash and bucket name slash and object name. That will generate the URL. Now we can give this to somebody else to give it to download that with their link. So let's try to paste the URL. So when we paste the URL, then in within given time, you will be able to download the file. So there you go. But let's say we can expire, then there we're gonna get the message like that. So it's no longer the valid. That's pretty much it. That's it. I hope you like watching this video and be sure to like it. Thanks for watching again. And hope you see you next time. Bye bye.